It was a beautiful spring like day today with a strong and gusty south southwest wind, but that really ushered in some big time warmth for us. High soared into the 60s and this is where we peak. We have some cool air heading our way and of course some rain chances too. You can see that back off to our west northwest. So timing everything out for the most part. Most of us will remain dry this evening with the exception of just a few sprinkles. Very hit and miss mostly along and north of US 6. By the time midnight rolls around, our coverage will begin to increase right around Fort Wayne and points to the north and even more showers overspread the area by about two three o'clock in the morning. This is where we could hear a few rumbles of thunder under overnight at this moment in time, no severe weather is expected. However, some gusty winds will certainly be possible. Keeping those rain showers across the area by the time 7 o'clock in the morning rolls around, so be sure to have the rain gear handy as you hit the door come tomorrow morning. As for overnight lows, they're only bottoming out in about the middle 40s, lower 40s for our northern tier counties. And highs tomorrow are certainly going to be a little bit cooler in the upper 40s and lower 50s area wide. And those scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms continue to track across the region. Now now the thunderstorm threat kind of exits the picture right around 10 11 o'clock in the morning, but those showers do continue into the early parts of the afternoon. You can see even the intensity does start to diminish right around the lunch hour. Most of the rain shifts off to the east southeast between three and five o'clock and then we'll dry things out on the back side of the system, but certainly will be cooler too. high temperatures tomorrow right around that 50 degree mark. So still above average for this time of the year, but cooler than where we parked our highs today with each passing day. We continue to cool down. We have a reinforcing shot of some significantly colder air Friday night. That's really going to cause our temperatures to drop for at least the first half of the weekend. I'll break it all down for you in your hometown forecast on Fox 55 News.